Hi, my name is Johan Lidén and I'm a product manager at Parker Hannifin. I'll be giving you a brief overview of the Icon Design Tool, a high-level graphical design tool which simplifies application development for your machine and reduces development time. The Icon Design Tool consists of five major groups. System Layout, Application Logic, Diagnostic, User Interface and Security. Let's start with the system layout. Click Add to start configuring your system. Select the module you wish to add and simply drag and drop it into your system. Select the CAN bus and drag to your desired position. Select the module to see the block diagram and, if needed, select the channel to move it into a new position. Click Add to add more inputs and output channels. Let's move on to application logic. The application logic is structured in function groups. And there are reference lines between each channel to see where information is passed on in the application. Select the function group to see how it can be structured. Uh, on the left side here we have a set of inputs. Click to see other channels you can select from the inputs and outputs. Select calculations to set math, PID and various filters, etc. Select parameters to set various parameters. Select miscellaneous to set state machines, uh, timers, etc. And select user interface to set your display pages and select CAN to set CAN messages. You can select safety to set up safety related channels as well. And select structure to structure your application. Uh, let's take a look at this joystick state machine example by clicking on it. Here we can see how the logic can be written. If you select this transition condition between state 1 and state 2 a classic object list uh, will appear in the box below. Select from the drop menu to choose which operator you wish to work with. You have uh, relational, arithmetic, boolean, other, trigonometric, logical, status and array. It's also possible to program in what we call Q-code, which is more text-based programming. Here you can set up uh, if and else expressions or more mathematical expressions. Let's take a look at diagnostics. Select measure groups to define the different measure groups that service technicians can see. Uh, this could be people working in production or in field support. You can define your measure groups by selecting measure groups and choosing which ch type of channels you would like to be visible. And you can define your adjust items by selecting it. Uh, a list appears telling you which channels and parameters you can adjust. And select the adjust group to group your items into the right channels. Select a group to protect them with different kinds of access levels. If you select logs, you can see how you have system logs, which is a default log, which means it's always there recording your setup of the system, like reprogramming and setting up parameters. There's also a statistic log where you can record. Here, for example, the hydraulic oil temperature. And there are also event logs like engine events, here in this case of oil pressure and engine temperature. Let's move on to the user interface. This is where you can define your display pages in the system. Literally, what you see is what you get here. If you select main and then add, you can select different types of controls which are listed here and the interactive controls below. You can add your own design elements like transparencies, PNG files, and add elements that are unique to your brand. 
You can also work with uh, layers by turning them on and off by selecting this eye feature, which helps you access the functionalities more easily. At any time during your development, you can start to simulate your application. To do that, you just click the run icon, which starts up the simulation in the background. Select new simulation to activate an exact simulation of the application that would be run in your simulation environment. And by simulating, you can move around and test your display pages. You can also test your application logic to make sure it behaves like it should. If, uh, for example, you select the application logic in the display box, you can find the signal controlling the image here and use the toggle to see how the image will be displayed. This also checks the application logic, which means it's not only test the graphics, but the functionality of the machine as well. And finally, here's the security settings. This is where you can control the different access levels of your machine. If you select production, you can define passwords for your production. So you can log in with a service tool and work on parameter settings that are only open to those with a password. If you select service, you can add different kinds of security levels for service. These are connected to the diagnostic group with adjust items and adjust groups. If you select backlight, for example, you can see over here that the access level for this is production. So only those with production access can access the backlight. Thank you for your time. For more information on the Icon Design tool, please visit our website.